I'm gonna go check the garden before I slap some lipstick on and take I'm not gonna wear this it's too big and it's not that it got too big I purchased it too big apparently because I'd rather be too big and too small so before I wear this anywhere I'm gonna see if it or to see oops maybe wash it with really hot water to see if I can drink it because I like it a lot and it's comfortable and I walk I can walk around in it as you saw it's also too long it barely touches the floor but when this top part uh, falls a little bit particularly in back the very edge of the hem touch the ground so it doesn't trip me up or anything actually no it doesn't touch the ground it's only about an inch from the ground the bottom line is it's too big and I can't wear it in public and plus you can see body 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 you can see my my, t my new tummy pouch cellulite thighs Ooh, she said <laughs> she's so thirsty Cornbread. Climbed up into the trees quite nicely. Here's another tree. Also, here's one also. The last harvest maybe from that plant. Everything is quite dry, even though it's been storming off and on. You know, this pot is really, really small. And these tomatoes have such a canopy that it blocks the rain from being able to get into that soil. So I have to make sure these are watered manually. Oh, look it. The whole roller coaster is almost ready. I have a bunch on here. It's doing really well in that little planter. My apple mint on fleek. Moringa need to be placed. The callaloo are going nuts because it is this time, it is their time of year. But I kind of don't want to pull these because I want to see what they're going to do in post. You know, after several harvests and toward the end of the winter, I mean, uh, season. I could also do that control testing in the yard, gar the yard garden of Callaloo, but I kind of want to do it over here to see how it will provide for me in the cooler months. To see how plants this, this age will provide for me in the cooler months. Bell peppers, orange and red. Verbena is serving me extremely well. I will be able to harvest all of these branches that should definitely hold me over for the winter. And I may also be able to share. I semi regret not having two of these this year just for the sake of sharing more. Now what I'm gonna do though, from now on when I share this, if the person I share it with doesn't say anything else about it, I'm gonna presume that they didn't like it as much as I did and not give them anymore because it's a duty to grow stuff you know and I spent a whole season which would ultimately at you know I spent the whole season growing it and you don't like it and you and you can't tell me what you're gonna hurt my feelings what hurt my feelings is if I'm continuously growing this for you and you don't like it not growing it for you, I'm growing it for me, but sharing with you some shit that I could be consuming my own self because I enjoy. Anyway, collard in here. It's looking okay. This stuff has gone crazy. And these peas down here are drying out. I let them go ahead, stay in the ground and dry out. Those are the Tom Thumb peas. My poblano still not doing so hot. It's getting drowned out now by these callaloo. Hey girl, hey. Uh, I'm sure I've mentioned in another video that has not been posted, I'm sure, that the that I think they attract ladybugs, which is awesome for the garden in general. See how big these leaves are? So next week, Actually, they can't wait till next week. I might harvest those today or tomorrow. And this one, there's several. There's one back there. There are about six or seven ready to be harvested. There's the collard. Look at that. That happened in a couple of days. Ah. It's again. It's supposed to rain a little, just for a couple of hours later, and um, all day tomorrow. So here goes nothing. Storms are brewing. 
going for a storm, so I'm gonna come and harvest some cucumbers and maybe a couple of teeny tomatoes, but it's too windy for that. It's a little yellower than they should be. And these are all on their last legs. We got a couple of quinceañeras going on in the neighborhood, so if you hear people turned up, that's why. That is why. We'll leave those up there till tomorrow. Maybe pick them if, if we go to the in-laws. That's perfect. All white with just a blush of yellow is perfect. Patio tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes under there. And lots of tomatoes under there. And there's the handsome husband. Man, you're so good looking. That's as big as it get? Mm-hmm. It's smaller than my micro time. Remember that little foot, uh, eight inch high mm -hmm. plant? So, needless to say, this will be the last time I grow that. But I am gonna, it did, does make me wanna go back to growing the other one in a pot that size to see how big the tomatoes will get. Oh, that one was good. Mm. First one I ate was from, and I need uh, my moringa trees to have a home. They're growing like four inches a day. I don't know. We never did pick them. Verbena forever, even though you don't drink it anymore. But I haven't been making it either. Making you drink it. Look how big this apple mint gets. I have some more callaloo here going crazy. That's only been in there for a few days. But I gotta decide if I want to replace these or not because these took the time to become trees. <laughs> you may smile like you did before. <laughs> 